SIU football was on a mission this season. Senior Xavion Furkron said their motto was leave no doubt. Leave no doubt that they deserve to be in the playoffs after they felt they were snubbed in 2019. Well, the dogs went to work and for the first time since 2009, the Salukis earned a spot in the postseason. Now their chance to make a splash as they headed out to Utah to take on 5-0 Weaver State. Salukis find themselves down 14-0 early Stone Labanowitz. Launches one out to Avante Cox and the Salukis are on the board with the 26 yard reception. And the dogs feed off their momentum. Romir Elliott is back after missing last week through the gap and in for a short touchdown. Saluki is happy to have Romir back as their other back Javon Williams is out with a concussion. Now defense has been a strength for the dogs all season. Jonathan Thompson grabs the INT, a game changing play to keep this a one possession game. SIU down by four. And how about this special teams play? They've got some tricks up their sleeves. Nico Gualdoni, instead of kicking, throws it to a wide open Cole Stewart for a touchdown. And finally, SIU has their first lead of the game. It's a tie game, though. Gualdoni showing he's got a leg, nails a 44 yard field goal, regaining the lead. But Weber State didn't go away. A touchdown from them would have SIU down with less than a minute in gameplay. Fourth and six, Labanowitz is a playmaker, and here is why. Airs it out to Branson. Combs makes the catch. It's the go ahead score, and SIU will go on to the next round. A 34 31 win from Ogden, Utah over Weaver State. Let's go ahead and send it out to sports director Jason Hurst, who has more on this incredible win. Kendra, huge win for the Salukis. Again, 34-31. Coach Hill was very emotional after that victory, and he said it might be one of the biggest in school history. But what he's proud of is the guys that have been with the program since 2016, fifth-year seniors. But you talked about that throw from Stone. It wasn't actually the play that they had originally going, were going to go with. So what happened was it was fourth and six from the eight-yard line. They call a timeout, and Coach Hill said, Coach Rowan's got this idea. What do you think? Took him five seconds, and he said, let's do it. They wanted to use Avante Cox as a decoy, and it worked. Stone threw the perfect throw, but I love his moxie. And we all asked, are you going to celebrate afterwards? And he said, I don't know if Coach Hill's going to let us. Well, they're certainly going to enjoy this one. Listen to the players and Coach Hill. I mean, too many emotions. Waving goodbye to all the Weber State fans and everything was to hear a pin drop in the stadium is my favorite part the whole entire day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looking for someone to hug, man. Crazy moment. It was good. Uh, Coach Hill's been saying all week that uh, we're, we're a playoff team, and we believe that. So it's not just a one-time thing that we're looking at right now. We're trying to go all the way. And uh, we believe that we have the guys, the game plan, the coaches to do so. So it, it, it's just it's just very exciting for us to get out there again next week and do what we did. There might be much business going on on the trip home, that's for sure. We're going to we're gonna enjoy it. And... Uh, Shoot, that's what I said. That's what the, a lot of people don't. You, you don't win this game. I mean, we won't get home until like two o'clock in the morning. We got an hour drive to, to um, Salt Lake City. We got a three hour drive uh, flight home. Um, then we get in Marion, we lose an hour. We got to drive back. These get, kids got to get back up. I mean, those are, those are miserable trips when you don't win. So we'll get, we'll get started on, the, uh, on South Dakota State tomorrow.